Good morning everyone. It's still morning. I've got six minutes to go, so I'm not lying. Uh, the uh, videos I did yesterday, I showed you a little sample. They got all mushed up. I don't know what was wrong with the iPad, but I did a, um, a shutdown and I started it back up. I did a few test videos and it's looking like it's working again, but um, when you have this, you sort of don't trust your iPad anymore. So, uh, well, we'll just see. Uh, I want to thank the people that um, sponsored me April 2019. So I'm very happy with you guys. Thank you very much. And um, I'm going to be doing a, uh, on a canvas, I'm going to be doing a just an abstract just to start off with. So I'm going to pour some uh, paint on here, as you can see, and I want a nice turquoise color to start with. And this is mixed paint. So this is the same paint that I used to pour with, and you can see that it is uh, pretty thin. It shows a lot of uh, what's underneath. So I have to make sure that I do it evenly, like this. So what's up guys? You know, always when I do this, I just wish you could just talk to me while I'm doing it. But the thing is, I can do a live where you can comment, but the comments come so fast that I won't be able to, uh, well, just won't be able to read them and comment on them. So. That's something that maybe YouTube could work on. I don't know. Just let, I don't know, 20 people in. Something like that. And then uh, you can talk to people. But if you have a lot of people coming in to watch the video and they all say hi and, you know, that kind of thing, then the where the comments are, they it rolls ba fast, really. goes really fast. I've done that once on a video uh, live for uh, Facebook and uh, it was totally something I'm not going to do again because it drove me crazy. There were so many comments. It was just unreal. So uh, I'll just stick with videoing like this. Well, this is the first layer, so I'm going to do the whole thing in the same color, and then uh, I'm going to let it dry. And this dries pretty fast, though. We have a little bit of sunshine here in Holland today, and next week we're going to get really, really beautiful weather. Um, we had, like, minus four this week, this last week, and we're going to plus 20 at the end of this week. So that's uh, just to show you, uh, you know, the difference in temperatures. But I'm sure you guys have the same. I, I bet it's the same all over the place, unless you live somewhere like Singapore, where it's always hot or humid, but also warm. I don't think they have like really low temperatures over there. I went there twice. Once when I came back from Australia, where I lived for uh, nine years, uh, that was uh, with my parents. I think I've told you guys that before. My mother got really sick, and she wanted to see her family before she died, so that's why we came back. And uh, if I could do everything over again, I think I would have uh, moved back to Australia the minute I got you know the age of 18 or something like that when you can determine that for yourself I should have gone back I loved it there I loved the schools I loved everything about Australia I guess yes there's one thing I wish someone would send me some twisties twisties and then the chicken flavored twisties I would almost murder someone for those <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. I've had them um uh once when I when we went to uh the Maldives, we went we had a stopover in Singapore and we stayed there for a couple of days and I bought some Twisties chicken flavored ch Twisties. They were so good. And 
an Australian meat pie. They have them over there. And, um, you know, we were just walking and we went in one of those um, underground tunnels where you go under the street. And there was this big advertisement for a real Australian pies. And I just took off. My husband says, what are you doing? I said, we got to go there. We got to get some Australian pies. Oh, that was crazy. So we, uh, we did buy them. We did buy two. And uh, I sat on a little bench there in Singapore. And before I sunk my teeth into it, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be so good. And I took a bite and I was instantly back at school. Really, I was, because that was what we always ate, you know, at lunch. So um, I was back there like, like that, like in a flick of the fingers. I was there. That was really fun. Okay, I see a little hair here on my canvas. We don't want that. It's a little brush hair. There it is. Take that off. And okay, guys, I'm going to be right back when this is dry, but I do have to do another layer. So be right back. Okay, we're back and it's dry and we're going to put on the second layer because I want this to be very, very opaque. You don't want to see any canvas looking through. This has to be really nice and covered. There we go. Now the funny thing about those ma that Maldives thing, um, we went, uh, my husband didn't want to fly. He said, like, never I'm going to get into a, uh, an a airplane. And I really, you know, because I went to Australia, all that stuff, you know, I really wanted to travel. And he said, like, it's not going to happen because I'm not going to get in a plane. So there was um, this uh, birthday party we went to. And normally he does not drink. <laughs> I bet you're already, you're already coming up with uh, some, something I'm going to say. So normally he doesn't drink. But he had a couple of drinks. And then he was sitting there and he was uh, sort of... Um, going like, oh yeah, I'll get in a plane, I don't care. But see, that was his worst nightmare. So when he was, you know, a little tipsy, he wasn't drunk, but a little tipsy, he started to get a little bit like, oh yeah, I'll do that, I don't care. And I said, oh, okay, so you just get in a plane? Yep, I don't care, I'll just get in a plane. And the next day, without seeing anything, I went and I uh, did the uh, reservations. And I thought, well, this might be a one-time thing. So he said he was going to get into it. So let's just do it. So it was two weeks Maldives and one week Singapore. So I came home and I said, look at this. I just made reservations. We're going on vacation. And he said, what? I said, yeah, because you said yesterday you'd get in a plane. So let's get in a plane. And that's how it happened. And I kid you not. So um, we got all the papers and he said, oh, that's OK. It's a direct flight. So I just get in and we get off in uh, in uh, Singapore. And then later you have to get in a plane to go to the Maldives. But lo and behold, when we got to Schiphol Airport and you have those little monitors, you know, describing the flight. No, no, no. We had to stop. We stopped in Vienna. Then we stopped on Malé, that is the capital of the Maldives. Then we flew to Singapore. We stayed there for a week, and then we flew back to the Maldives, stayed there two weeks. Then uh, all of a sudden we had to make a detour to Athens in Greece because some plane had lost some part. Then we had to stay there on the tarmac. I don't know for how long because we couldn't get you know back in the schedule. So then we went from... Athens to Vienna again from Vienna to Amsterdam and we were home so that was a fun uh, fun vacation it, and if you've never been to the Maldives it is gorgeous really it is it is beautiful okay guys next part coming up as soon as this is dry okay I changed my mind I'm um it is oops I dropped a little bit of water on there that's not good I am going to uh, do uh, 
uh, one layer wet and wet. Just have to take that little bit of moisture off there. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I want to have uh, right down the middle, I'm going to do those round things, but I'm going to do it a little differently. So what I'm going to do is bring on some of this color. And for this, I'm using a, the same brush. It's sort of a really big brush. And this is Naples yellow <coughs> with a little bit of titanium white. So that's what we're putting in there. And I do want, the, you know, the color to sort of smush up a little. I don't know if you know what I mean with smushing up, but I'll show you in a bit. Yeah, I have all these names because I don't come up with the real English word. Okay, so we're going to leave that brush there. <coughs> and then with an even bigger brush, I'm going to brush that into the background, but just on the sides, as you can see here. So it's sort of like it's, you know, getting into the background. And that you do with a dry brush. Just like that. Make it go into the background. Now I'm feeling sort of like Bob Ross. He always did this. That's it. Now on the monitor, I'm aware that you can almost not see it, but it is here. You can see the difference when the light isn't really shining on top of it. Just a little bit more. But as you can see, I'm only using this slightly on the side just to pull in the, uh, the color. And I've got to make sure that I don't make all those little patterns because that is not what I'm looking for. That's that. I'm not sure if you can see it. Ah, you can a little bit. Then of course, every once in a while you want to clean your brush. And of course, because this is going along like that, you have to make the same little patterns because otherwise it'll look look really not really in place and this is a lot of fun to do because if you don't like it you just wipe it off and believe me guys I've done that a couple of times before because you know you don't always make things that you really like you have it in your head, and then when you execute it, you have this feeling like, eh, not as pretty as I imagined it would be. So I'm making sure I have the same sort of pattern in the paint. And I am going to turn it around because I do think it needs to be, all those little things need to go up. So this is the right way up. Now, I'm going to clean off the brush. And the thing is, I want the, uh, the burnt sienna, this color, I'm going to put that somewhere on here. But I'm thinking I have to do that when it's dry, because as soon as you touch uh, the Naples yellow with this, it's going to really lighten up, and you don't want that. I really like this color, although I'm thinking maybe I need to... Just get it out of the, the, the you know, the, the jar because that is mixed so it'll be even more transparent. So uh, let's see if we can do that. <clears throat> now, uh, this is the uh, burnt sienna I'm talking about. And as you can see here, it's transparent. It's the number 074. 
but you also have a burnt sienna opaque so as you can see on the little square it's black and it's color 077 so what I'd like to do is mix both oops you can't see that but I'm putting some on a, a piece of photo paper and then I'm putting the other one in there uh, why I'm using two is because they do have a different color that's the problem so uh, I really like the transparent one and I'm using the opaque one well just for that because it's opaque so be right back guys okay this is dry now so uh, now I'm going to put this in but it's not going to be a neat line like I did on the last one because I didn't really like that so I'm going to just put on some paint and then see where this takes us As you can see now, it is opaque because I, I mixed those two together. And that is really uh, what I was going for. Just to do one line of paint on top of it. But like I said, I don't want a nice neat line, so I do have to make it a little bit chaotic. go now I don't know why I did this on that side because it's gone but you know that's just the process of uh, what you're doing um, as you go along you just might you know brush over the first thing you did and that's no problem whatsoever because that's uh, that's all in the in the creating of something so don't worry about that <clears throat> okay that looks okay to me it does have a slight little thing going on this way but that's okay because we're gonna come back in with that black and this time I'm gonna mix that black with a gel medium because I want those rings to be you know coming off the canvas so let me put this away I just might keep this you know for uh, for later now what I was thinking uh, first I thought I'd use one of these and uh, put it on and then put color on but then when I'm gonna come in with those rings it's gonna be total chaos it's gonna be way too busy so I decided not to do it so we're just gonna uh, let this dry a little bit then I'm gonna come back in with the gel medium with black and I'm gonna put the rings on top so uh, be right back okay we're ready with the background and we're uh, all ready with the mixing of the black so here we go to the fun part of the painting now these are just you know the things that come with your deodorant or your hair products or anything you have in the house that's in a spray spray thing that's all it really is the they're just caps so I'm gonna start with this size then I'm gonna move on to a, a little bit bigger one and then I'm gonna fill in what I think needs filling in with the smaller ones so I what I do like is as you can see the little bit uh, different thickness of the uh, of these circles because it's nice and really buttery uh, paint that I made you shouldn't make it too thin well you can but then you get more of a uh, really nice round um, imprint but what I like is uh, just a little bit different you know to have it just have a 
those little pieces in there. That's sort of what I think is makes it just a little artsier. Now I'm going to go to the bigger one. This is from uh, Hairspray. I use a lot of Hairspray because you see my hair. My hair really needs to have some uh, something that holds it. And I hope uh, when you guys see this that it inspires you to do some uh, something different than pouring. You know, because it's just fun to sometimes do something different. And a bigger one up here. And a bigger one up there. That's starting to look nice. Sometimes you just want to, you know, s sort of do this just to get the paint moving. So when I put it down here, I just slightly turn it like a knob so that the paint really gets stuck on there. Now I'm going to move to the smaller one. This is from a, uh, what is this from? I'm thinking about where I got this one. I don't know, but I bet if you go into your bathroom and into your cabinets, you'll find a lot of these caps. Usually I throw them out as soon as I open a new hair spray thing, but recently I'm, I'm just saving them all. Because they do come in handy when you're doing something like this. And I'd even say I, I need a smaller one just to, uh, you know, to pull it all together. I'm going to see if I have a smaller one. Well, I know I do somewhere. Just have one slip over the side here and there. A little bit thicker one and down here okay now I'm gonna look for a really tiny one see here's another one this is from a uh, spray uh, one of those tan things but that's pretty much the same size I should have a really, really small one. Okay, this one is the smallest I can find. See, that's a cap from some other thing. I don't know. I just keep all the caps now. So I'm going to do the little ones now. Got to load it up with a little bit more paint. There you go. Here, I think here. I do like how they um, overlap. I think it gives them something uh, interesting. And you could go, you know, do a lot of these that you almost don't have a sense that they are these rings. Because if you just went all over back and forth, back and forth, you would get... Uh, a very different uh, look. And like I said, the, the more different sizes you have, the more fun it looks. Let's see where we want to place another one down here, I guess. And interlock them like that. And doing something like this, this is um, in everyone's reach. Absolutely. Everyone can do this. Even children will have fun doing this because there's just not anything you can mess up, really. You just put these colors that you want. You choose your colors. You make the background. You let it dry. And you come in with all these little caps and do something fun with them. And like I said... You could go on and on and on, and then all of a sudden it's sort of just like a, a whole pattern that just, you know, fits together. Let's see, here's another one. And you could go even smaller. You know, I, I'm sure that if you have a thimble, sewing thimble, 
you could do that. They would be even smaller than this. And I, I know that I have more caps somewhere, but I'm just thinking where I, oh, I know where I have one. I have one smaller and I do want to put on a little one smaller. Now, this one comes off one of these little bottles, as you can see. They're really small, like a thimble, because I don't think... Oh, yes, I can. I can stick my finger in there. So just go around the house before you start this. Go around the house, and you will find um, that you have tons of these, because they're on everything. And I'm sure you could even find one that are even smaller than this, but I'm not going to go there. This is the last layer. This was really fun. I like this one. Oops, did a little drop there. I'm, right now in the middle I'm going to do a little more so that this is a little bit darker right down the middle. Let's see. There we go. Ooh, I see another one right up here. Okay, that's it. This is, uh, this is as far as I'm going to go with this. See that? It's a nice big uh, canvas and uh, I think it'll look uh, really nice hanging on a wall. It's pretty interesting and the black is thick enough that it leaves a, a sort of a, a 3D look to it. So um, what you can do is buy a gel medium. You have them in different uh, viscosities. So you have the normal medium gel, then you have uh, the little bit thicker and you have really extra thick where you get these really pointy things on. I don't think that's good. But on the other hand, if you did buy it and you think it's not working like you want it to, just add a little bit of water and it'll f f stay flat. So um, this is it. This is my painting. I think I'll put it up on, a, on an easel and I'll show you guys later. But you could hang it up either way. See, like this it'll work too. It works pretty much any way you want it, even like that. And the good thing about this is it's so easy and you know exactly how you did the background that if you wanted two or four or whatever, you could just, you know, make the next one and the next one and then just hang them like two one on top, one underneath, and it'll just go straight down. So uh, you can make this as big as you want. And I'm, I'm sure that even if you had a canvas that was like 120 by 120, uh, that's something like four or five foot by four or five foot, you could do this too. All you have to have is even bigger circles just to make it a little bit bigger. But the background, that's no problem whatsoever. You just get a bigger brush. And then these rings, there are, I know there are cups and, and, and lids and all kinds of stuff that'll pick up the paint and you can just put it on and you will have an awesome painting. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I am going to clean it up and I'm going to be doing a pour. So thanks for watching this video. I love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. Hoffe jullie allemaal. Didn't forget anyone there. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Love you.